Shalom and welcome to Wisdom and Torah Ministries. It's always an honor to serve the King of the Universe. Today I want to share just a short video about how historical evidence, in this case, like Josephus, which is a primary source because he was there in the first century, can help us validate the Bible. We know that the Bible is inspired of God. We know that. But because of all the stuff going around us, it is also imperative for us to utilize historical sources to help us and allow us to bring a time frame and a timetable to the events and the narrative that we read in the Bible. To make this point, I want to share with you one or two verses in the New Testament or the Brihadasha that introduces a particular um, person into the storyline, but 95 to 99 percent of the audience do not know who he was. Now, I have understood who he was based on my studies in the temple. But we also have Josephus giving us the evidence that we have. Not only does he tell us that he held a, a high-level position in Jerusalem in regards to the first century, but he also lived in the time frame exactly along the time when Luke wrote the letters in the New Testament. So let me show you right away. We're talking about Theophilus. In the book of Acts, chapter 1. Uh, verse 1 says, I produced a former account, O Theophilus, about all that Yeshua began to do and teach. So therefore now we have in this particular chapter of the book of Acts, Luke is directing his letter to one particular person. When you go to the book of Luke, again, chapter 1 in the introduction, and you read verse 3, it says, It seems to me, also because I have followed all things carefully, from the beginning to write them down in orderly, sequence for you, most excellent Theophilus. Now, why is Luke writing a letter to a person we don't know? Now, I've my position on this have been that Theophilus was one of the sons of Ananias. Ananias was the high priest of Israel, and then later on he retired, and he had five sons, and also son-in-law, Caiaphas. But many people always kind of debated that until we look into all the resources that could add to the narrative that we read in the Bible. And this is why I am so, so uh, um, influenced by historical accounts and also by looking into other information to facilitate better understanding of the Bible that was not written to us, but it was written for us to understand the whole storyline and the narrative that we see in the Bible. So let me quote from you, and it's interesting, I'm doing a teaching on something completely unrelated. And when I was doing cross-referencing, this particular quote came in from the, um, from, the, from the study that I was doing that is exactly related to this. So let's look it up. Let's quote from Josephus. In the works of Josephus, and I'm using the Winston edition in this case, Antiquities of the Jews, Book 19, now, if you read the previous, uh, the previous, uh, it says right here, into Judea, what was that uh, Petronius road and the inhabitants of Doris on behalf of the Jews. Now, it may seem unrelated, and it's talking about Claudius. So it tells us, it tells us who was the emperor at the time of the event at hand. It also mentions the Herod of the time, Agrippa. Now, we already know that Claudius served as emperor from the year 41 to the year 54. Now, you got to connect the letter of Corinthians in between all of that, okay? Because all those letters are being written at the same time where Claudius is the emperor of Rome. Remember that Nero came after him, and Nero created a huge chaos for the believers in Rome and also in Asia Minor. But that's another topic in itself. So here we have Agrippa. Now, we know now when Agrippa uh, was, uh, uh, you know, leading in Israel, so we learn in Josephus, in the story that we're going to read, it says that Claudius was the Caesar, and Agrippa was the Herod. He was the king of Israel at the time. Agrippa comes back, and then he does sacrifices, and he does what he needs to do. But then it, tells, it gives us a very beautiful gem right here. It says, and when Agrippa had entirely finished all the duties of the divine worship, he removed Theophilus, the son of Ananias, that's Ananias, from the high priesthood. Now, that piece of information is extremely important because now, through the information that I just gave you, it mentions 
Claudius, the year 41 to 54, it mentions Agrippa, the, the, the Herod in Jerusalem uh, at the time when Claudius was the emperor. Now we know exactly when the letter of Luke and the letter of Acts was written. During that time frame, and now Luke is directing it directly to Theophilus, who was the son of Ananias, the high priest, who was also um, a, a high priest himself, and he was removed because at the time in the first century, the high priesthood has been pro corrupted and it was being bought to the highest price. So if we read a little lower in number three, what says number three, it says, when the king has settled the high priesthood after this manner, he returned the kindness which he, the inhabitants of Jerusalem has showed him. And he released them from the tax upon houses and everyone of whom paid it before thinking. So now we know that Theophilus not only was a high priest, but he was a little bit of an oppressor. And he was leading Israel with a strong hand. Now, what's interesting is that when we look at the Bible and we read the scriptures, and I'll repeat this again, John Walton really quoted this perfectly. The Bible is written for us, but not to us. Please remember we were not the original audience that Luke and Peter and John and Paul was writing to. It requires also for us to take the time to validate the information in the panoramic understanding, a bigger, broader picture of the events that happen in the New Testament. So what have we learned today? That Josephus, Josephus uh, teaches us and helps us connect the year when the book of Acts and the book of Luke more than likely must have been written between 41 and 54 because he is mentioning, you know, Theophilus in the book of Acts and the book of Luke. And now we know that Theophilus was the high priest during the time of Agrippa, which ruled Rome and the whole Roman Empire, which Judea was part of from the year 41 to 54, the year that Agrippa was also the Herod and the king of Israel. I pray this was a blessing to you. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Study with us at wisdomandtorah.com. And we're looking to know more about the context, the geography, the history, the temple, and the laws of the Torah in its proper context and cultural background. Shalom. Bye-bye.